it's time to finish the modeling on this. And the first thing I'm going to do is come in here and grab this row here and this row here, E and Alt S, and pull in. I don't know how I missed that. I'm going to drag an edge loop up here and an edge loop here and do the same up here. Somehow I forgot that. And it's pretty necessary. All right. Okay, so here we go. Now I've made a decision about how I'm going to do this here. Let's rotate Z90 minus. I'm going to do an attachment this way. All right, so I'm going to focus on the phone with the with the point right there. I'm going to bring in a cylinder, and I'm going to use 20 vertices. I'm going to rotate Y90. Scale it down a little bit, and I'll work on the scale later. Okay, and I'm going to bring in this edge, that face, whatever. I'm going to look from the side. There we go, something like that. And let's chop off this whole top part here. So I'm left with that. Take this, pull it in a little bit. We'll get it to work a little bit better later. Okay, now I'm going to hide the phone and just focus on this thing. I'm going to take these points and I'm going to extrude up. And then I'm going to take these and I'm going to extrude out. And then I'm going to just make a face for the moment. Recalculate outside. Let's try E and Alt S. To give this some thickness. And let's look from the side view. Let's grab this and pull it in. Let's see where I'm going with this in a minute. And then I'm going to take this point and this point. J to make a face, this one and this one, J to make a face, an edge really is what I mean. And I'm going to get rid of that edge there. J, this one and this one, J. I'm going to get rid of this. Let's get rid of this edge and, and let's get rid of this edge. Take this and this, and bevel, like that, and we're going to bevel here. Before I do that, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and bevel that. And then let's go all the way around. Double that just with maybe about three. Let's throw on a subdivision. Okay, let's bring stuff back and have a look at that. That's what I'm thinking of for the cradle for the phone. Let's hide that. And then what I thought I would do is let's take that. And then I'll bring in another cylinder. It should go something like 18. Rotate Y90. Just focus on those two things. And get it so that it fits. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll push it through and bevel this a little bit. And then I'll take this end. I'll scale it out, pull it back something like this and then we'll see uh, how close we are. I'll bevel here with say three. Push 
shade smooth and I'll not forget to bevel there. Good. So let's extend this now. I think what I would like to do actually is bring this all in like that. Uh, I think I will. Let's grab here, Control Plus, a couple times. And come to. Let's see. Try it there. Scales. Uh, where am I going? You know, scale shift X. I'll do something like that. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'll get rid of that for the moment and we'll just do it like this. Add a subdivision to it. Actually we'll make this a little bit more prominent here. I'm just making this up as we go along. Something like that. All right. So now we can take all of this stuff, we'll make sure that's all in the foam, and we'll just center it up a little bit, and uh, maybe we'll move it up a little bit. So I'm, I'm off the reference uh, right now. Okay, let's come down here somewhere and bring the 3D cursor there. We'll bring in another cylinder. 18 is fine. Then we'll make the uh, output for the cord. I guess it's the output. Something like that. So let's focus on that and we'll get rid of that face. And we'll bevel that one a bit. Shade smooth, slash, make sure it's facing the right way. And then we'll just look from the side, the other side, and uh, position this a little bit more. So the center. Okay, so see that's there. Then what I'll do is, actually, I might make a hole here, but we'll see. I'm just going to bring my 3D cursor there, and I'm going to bring, actually, just before I actually do this, I hope the scale is okay. I sort of feel like the phone is a little bit big, so I'm just going to try doing that. You know what? I'm going to leave it. Okay, I'm going to leave it. So, I'm going to bring in a curve path and rotate Y90. I'm going to move it down, something like that. That's okay. Okay, I want that point. Look from the back. I'm going to extrude a few times and come in. I'm just going to do something like that. And that's going to be the cord. Yeah, like that. Okay, so with that done, I'm now going to bring in another cylinder, but we'll make this one um, 16 at the most. With nothing on the end, we'll make that like a metal, piece of a metal core. I'm going to scale it down pretty nicely, and I'll just move it down a little bit. Scale it in the Z, because I'm going to array this as multiple pieces. So. 
Well, I don't want too many. Put an edge loop in there and split it just like that. E and Alt S and push it out. And I will bevel this by hand. Control B and I'll do that and that. And uh, yeah. So now I'm going to take this. I'm going to array this in the Z. We'll just go for one and zero. And we'll bring up the count a bunch of times. And then we're going to take this and add a curve modifier and choose this curve. I'm going to use Z and uh, we'll have to go that way. Okay, that's fine with me. I'm going to increase the count down here. I'll go ahead and, and bring this a little closer and decide maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll scale that a bit more too. Pull that in. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll just make it come to the back. And I'm not even going to finish it. I'm just going to do that. But I may come into the curve itself. And have one more look at this thing. Just like that. I'll shade smooth. And I don't want to mess with it for too, too long, really. Because I tend to mess with these things too much. And that's probably going to be just fine. Alright, so that's the cord. And that'll go into there. And I don't even really need to make a hole. You're not going to see it very well. Okay. So let's finish off with this part here. Let's select the back and bring the 3D cursor there. I'm going to bring in another cylinder. 16 is fine. Nothing on the ends is fine. And I'm going to rotate Y90. Scale it down. Get it to fit in there. Something like that. Shade smooth. And that's possibly okay like that. I may need to make it a bit smaller, but we'll see. I'm going to bring in a plane and put it on top. I'm not, I, I know I'm not looking at the reference right now because I'm just gonna make this. I will then uh, take make this into a reference. So anyone who wants to model this can just follow along. But this, this stuff's pretty straightforward. So we're just gonna do this and push that in and extrude it up. I don't know that I like this shape, so I may do something different, but I'm going to select this and I'm going to get rid of some faces, the back and the side faces here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to bevel this. I might use one more there. Slash, don't worry about shading it. Well, okay, fine. Um, here's what I'm thinking actually for this guy. If I just focus on him, I'm thinking maybe we'll just make him a half and come up straight. So there's only a little bit of curve to him. Let's go back and see what this is like. We can come up just a little bit more and then this piece will come down on top of that. So you get a small curve. I think I'll put a subdivision on there. Ah. Okay. Even like that. Okay, maybe I'll do one more. Okay, we'll split that. We'll do it like that. I think that looks a little bit a little bit nicer. And then what I was thinking for the for the last bit is like this. Um, like bring in a plane, merge its center, and uh, I'm going to look from the side in wireframe. I'll move that forward. And then what I was thinking is I would come up about halfway or so and then just sort of extrude out we'll try it we'll try this and uh let's look at this and we'll bevel that in a second let's bring it out here and extrude it like this so it kind of fits uh let's uh recalculate outside e and alt s pull like this take this and push it back in 
Yeah, this might work. Let's take this and bevel this. Round it off like that. And I'm going to focus just on that piece there. I'm going to get rid of the bottom face and then I'm going to select the sides and bevel these. Control B. And, you know, I could pro I probably use three because I probably will have a subdivision on this one. Take the top and bevel that as well. Try Control 1, Shade Smooth. And bring it back. And that's really what I was going for, to tell you the truth. And you could spend as much time as you want adjusting that. Just, uh, I'll make that just a little bit thicker and pull it out and that is the mechanism right there let's have a look here Because this is sort of a retro phone, it's not really the original old phone. I'm going to select here, shift S, cursor to select. A lot of these phones have buttons inside them. And so I think I would probably do, like maybe I'll do 20. I'll do Ingon. And uh, um, rotate X90. Let me get a copy of that. Oh, how nice. case I'm going to bring the 3d cursor there and this is where see watch this yeah see I had to flip those I would do that and then I come back in and I just get rid of the box I mean, there may be one or two other little things that I've that I've missed or realize I have to fix up, um, but uh, otherwise, I think that's pretty close. So yeah, did I miss anything that's obvious? So that is pretty much it for the modeling of the phone. Short of going back and tweaking anything, all right, such as maybe rebuilding this again and making it thicker but maybe I will just leave it like that all right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get into uh, unwrapping this and I'm not going to go nuts doing that I'm going to use a lot of cube projection and smart UV projection and uh, um, spherical projection whatever whatever I need to use and we'll create some UV tiles for this and we'll texture it in substance painter so hopefully you'll come back for that